it's still on. Alexa, good night. If you could not tell already, this video is sponsored by. to 
not do any cuts in this video. I try to do unedited. So if I mess up, then I mess up, okay? We're just gonna go for it. Um, I have all the props that I'll be using for this soft-spoken video down here. So you might see me turn to the side and just go and pick it up. This is my first time doing a standing ASMR video. And I have my backdrop right here and the camera in front of me, of course. And then I also have this mic on a beautiful mic stand. I think the key to a very good, successful ASMR video is movement. So, I will be trying my best to give you guys better eye contact and some better movement, okay? Definitely some better movement. I have bad shoulders from playing sports, bad joints really, so if you do hear them crack when I am moving, I want to go ahead and apologize. I'm going to try to be very still because like I said, the mic is on a mic stand and it's on the floor. So that means any vibration that is on the floor is gonna be picked up. It's gonna be picked up. So I'm not gonna try to move very much. Just my upper body click, click, click. My shoulder clicking is so I'm sorry. So first I wanted to start off by maybe showing you a lot of people love the new nails and I got them done at a nail salon in the area that I moved to and um, they were nice enough to use a vegan cruelty free gel nail polish that I brought in and um, I'm gonna get it for you this is Nail Addict. Nail Addict, I've been using them for almost half a year now. You can go back into some of my older videos from months and months and months ago. And you can see that I've been using them for quite some time. Um, they don't pay me. Um, they, they're very nice and they even gave you guys a percent off code. They're super nice, but you guys always ask me about my nails. Um, you guys seen them on Instagram, you saw them on Twitch. Some of you guys actually got the same exact replica of these nails and sent it to me. So cool. Congratulations. They are so spunky. I love the shape. I usually never do the shape of nails. And then I did it and oh my god. To die for. I usually go for a coffin sometimes a box. I just don't like chunky, chunky acrylics. I can't do chunky. But um, before, I would go and all the acrylic nails that you guys have been seeing recently in videos that wasn't with these, I would go to Sally's and I would get the acrylic nails that are clear. The clear acrylic nails. And then I would glue them with Gorilla Glue. Or was it Crazy Glue? It's in a green bottle with a red top and I would glue those onto my nails I know what you're thinking, not very professional and I would use the Nail Addicts nail polish and I would do my nails at home and it was like five bucks to do these acrylics and they last so long I love the smell of their nail polish as well it is so good but this, someone asked me the colors. They used a baby pink that I brought in. And they did two coats of those nails, of that color on the nails. And then they took this black and they did this beautiful design. So beautiful. So beautiful. They did this beautiful design. I love it. It's just very... Even though this is a design, it's still calm, you know? Still calm and still very aesthetically pleasing. I was very shocked. Um, I usually stick to a color 
and that's it. But um, it's it's been what two weeks maybe with these acrylics? Two weeks, a week and a half. No chipping. No chipping at all. But I just love. I wanted to shout them out because you guys kept asking me about my nails, and I've been meaning to tell you guys about them again. I know I had mentioned them already previously, and when you guys fell in love with these nails too, I was like, I, I gotta give them the secret. I gotta give them the secret. And I think you get a nice big chunk off with the coupon code they gave y'all. Um, they're very generous. They were very nice. They're very nice. Very nice. Oh my god. I think I just fell in love with soft-spoken ASMR because I'm getting relaxed right now. Sorry guys, and I'm also realizing that I'm rambling, and I don't mean to ramble, you know, not at all, I don't mean to ramble, but um, it just happens, then I remembered that I said that I wasn't going to edit anything, and I'm sitting here thinking about how you guys have to listen to me ramble, so I'm sorry, I want it to be as natural, and as uncut as possible since we're doing a soft-spoken ASMR. I have no clue where I got this top from. I will find out if anyone's interested about the top that I'm currently wearing. I'm gonna try to get on my tippy toes so you guys can see just a little bit. And it has no back. It is very perfect in color. It's brown. I have been falling in love. I've already loved neutrals. As you as you guys know, I don't wear a ton of color. Um, and brown came back in style, and I picked up a ton of brown pieces. I love brown pieces. I thought they might be too harsh, you know, my skin tone. I feel like people with a richer, with a richer color can rock brown so much better someone of my skin tone it's like winter came and I lost so much of my color but I've been going outside thank the lord I barely leave the house but um, I'm gonna get some more color on my skin and um, I'm gonna go to the pool I'm gonna I'm gonna go out you know what I'm not gonna wear long sleeves all the time I'm gonna let the sun hit my skin and I will shine like Edward Cullen, okay? I will shine like Edward Cullen and Bella in Breaking Dawn Part 1 at the end. Part 2, the whole movie. So, I will get there, but it is a beautiful, beautiful blouse. I'm really enjoying this video. And I feel like a lot of you guys probably won't watch this video. Which is, you know, it's okay. You know, sometimes... You have to do the videos that you want to do instead of what's trending because if you keep doing what is trending instead of doing what you love to do you will burn out and you'll get depressed and you just feel like you just feel like you're dragging through what you have to do so I'm really glad that people on Twitch encouraged me enough to tell me to make this video, so shout out to my Twitch family and KJ because KJ would have been very angry if I didn't make this video. He said he loves it when I speak softly instead of whispering, but I also love it. Sorry, I'm still gonna talk about the nail polish. I'm sorry, guys. I'll give you more deeds. I also love it when people go from soft speaking to whisper to whisper soft speaking and then they come up close to you and they whisper just a little bit you know what I'm talking about? the person in my opinion who does this best is gentle whispering gentle whispering gentle whispering mama Maria Maria gentle whispering she is Russian in her accent, and I always watch her lips and 
her teeth, her teeth and her lips are so beautiful. They are stunning. And her body movement and the way that she embodies just calmness and peacefulness blows my mind. I've been having really bad insomnia. I haven't been going to bed until like 3 or 4 in the morning recently. If you guys, my Twitch family knows because during those nights when I'm not sleeping at night, I will be on Twitch talking to you guys and it's becoming quite a problem. But what I found that really helps me, not only with my sleep mask and having the blackout, 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 yeah, you guys remember that, yeah, the blackout feature on my Manta mask. But also listening to gentle whispering and it's like I've been watching her for quite some time and usually for me when I need tingles and when I need to relax I have to see someone doing the ASMR for me to have tingles and for me to truly relax and feel something but I love and I have watched so much of gentle whispering ASMR that I have memorized her body movements. So when she's speaking in her videos, I no longer need to see her because I can see her doing. It's almost like I can feel her energy and her aura and how she just moves about her videos. She is truly spectacular. Sometimes you see bigger accounts on YouTube who aren't really relaxing, but they're over height, which, you know, just to each their own, you know? Everyone likes what they like. Um, but I can tell you, gentle whispering, there is a reason she, there's a reason she gets the views that she gets. There's a reason that she's been around so long. There is a reason she has such an amazing, loyal following. I call her Mama Maria. I have never spoken to her. I, I, I have never interacted with her, I don't believe. But I call her Mama Maria because to me, she is the mama, the mama of ASMR. I'm not saying any other large accounts don't deserve what they have because they do. If you're out here, tapping and whispering and doing this every day and you're worried and you're stressed out and a lot of people are like oh this isn't a job sweetie this is a lot and I also get the burps when I when I whisper so I really hope that doesn't happen it happens on twitch but we're not gonna talk about that but um there's just something about gentle whispering it's it's beautiful. I uh, just thinking about her, and the, it. Let me change the subject because I can go on and on about gentle whispering. I love the way skin sounds. You're gonna see how my mind is so random in this video because I'm just doing a soft spoken ASMR. So when I do things like this. I always do things unscripted anyways, but you know, something like this where I'm not going to do a ton of cuts. I just want to try it out. Whatever comes to my dome, whatever comes to me, is what I'm going to do. So, bear with me. Because there's different triggers, 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 triggers that comes to my mind when I do an ASMR video. It's like using what's around you and then trying to apply that. So what makes me tingle? I love when people touch, 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 touch their face. You know what I'm saying? Like trace your face. You have a beautiful face. Trace it. Trace your face. I love the sound. When people trace their skin. Skin sound. 
Cats will always be, I think, one of my favorite ASMR triggers. Also clothing. Ribbed clothing. Ribbed clothing. It's been around for a couple years. I want to say two or three. It's been really popular. Ribbed tops. Ribbed pants. And the way ribbed clothing sounds underneath your nails is so relaxing oh my god, I, I'm falling in love with this video I know a lot of people probably aren't going to watch it and that's okay I'm really enjoying this video it's really nice I'm, I'm talking about the things that I love you know, I'm talking about the people and the people who inspire me and the people that I love in my community and, you know, all the great people I've met on Twitch, all the great people I met here on YouTube. It can't get better than this. This is going to be one of those videos that one day I'm going to look back on and be like, wow, I was happy here, you know? There's some videos that you can see that, you know, I'm doing it because people really wanted me to do it. Like when I do polls and people are like, do this, do this, do this, do this. And I do it because it's what you guys want. This, this video is for you and for me, so Since we're here talking My um, number one pet peeve when I film from a couple videos ago. If I do, I'll give it to you guys. You guys can save money if you want. I love when you guys save money. I'm a really big supporter of couponing. If I ain't got a coupon, I probably ain't gonna buy it. A lot of things you see me with, I barely have designer, but if it is designer, it's either secondhand or given to me. I don't be paying that type of money. That's 
a lot of money. Why spend $900 on a pair of shoes when I can get $900? 900 items. 900 items from Dollar Tree. Technically, like, maybe 850 items and they know tax comes in, but I would much rather get a ton more items than one thing, you know? The only thing... The only thing about oh, that overexposure and then I came back, the only thing about nail polish is you do need a blue light LED light to dry it you get in a couple nail polishes and they actually send you the um what you call it? the LED light the smaller one I did decide to get the bigger one because I have man hands I have very large hands and this way when I do get you know a bigger a bigger nail dryer. It's so much easier and so much quicker. The little one does the exact same thing, but I can put my whole hand in here and just dry for 30 seconds and I'm out the door. So I went ahead and invested in the 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 larger dryer. So but you do get the, the little one so and I absolutely love this and it breaks apart and you just plug it in you plug it into the wall and you're automatically in business business, 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 business yes I love them now I want to take a look at this book and maybe I can read you a couple pages or maybe a chapter I am very proud of this book because one of your very own, one of my subscribers wrote this book and they asked if they could send it to me and I was like, not a question. I read quite a lot. I love reading, especially romance books. You guys know that. One of my very first popular videos. Um, was the romance book and it was the book, the book, the book, the book, the book, the book, the book that I was tapping on and I have read that so many times since that video and this, this book came right in time because I have read through all of my books multiple times in quarantine so this gave me a new new book to read. The book is titled The Suburbs by Chloe Kent. Her Instagram is Chloe K. Author and she even sent me some little chocolates with a little package and it has a good amount of pages. Let me see. So usually, when I read romance books, I read Jude Devereaux. If you don't know who Jude Devereaux, I suggest you give her a look-see as well. Nora Roberts is also really good. I'm a romance junkie. Um, but it's a decent amount of pages. It's uh, 244 pages 244 pages long usually when I get books depending on the price point if a book is cheaper like say a couple bucks five or six seven eight nine dollars if it doesn't hit those double digits I'm fine with getting a book that doesn't have a lot of pages in it you know but if I'm paying 20 or 30 dollars for a book I want at least a thousand pages. I'm pretty sure her book's very affordable. Let me see. I'll try to have a link down below. I'll email her after I done after I'm done filming this video. And I'll see if she can give me the link. If not, I'll find it on Amazon. I believe she sells it on Amazon. I can take a look. But it 
is paperback. I love that. I have hardback books, and whenever I get hardback books, hardback books, I always take off the wrapping of it, and I just have a plain, plain hardback book for aesthetic reasons. So in my house, I have floating shelves with just, you know, these books that I've read, and to keep them all in the same color code, I just took And I keep going, you know? Works like a charm. And I don't throw those away, I just store it. So the next time I move, I'll have a book cover to cover my books. So, Love, Drama, Infidelity by Chloe Kent. And it starts off on the back. Let me read the back of the book. Can you keep a secret? Newly divorced Mia wants nothing but a tranquil, fresh start in the suburbs. But drama, passion, love, and infidelity await her. Mia has a constant battle on her hands between her head and her heart. And just when she thinks things can't get any more complicated, her ex-husband shows up. Girl, it all goes on in the suburbs. Sounds like a suburb. Sounds like a suburb. Let's do this, do this, do this. Do you guys want me to read you a couple pages of this book? Hmm? Oh, I love the smell of a fresh book. I love the sound fresh new book. The way the pages feel almost starchy and have that crisp sound and feeling to it. I love books. I can sit in a library for days. I remember when I was younger, there was this book series called Vampire Diaries. My bad, not Vampire Diaries, that's the TV show. I haven't watched that though, I need to. It's called Vampire Kisses. Kisses. Vampire Kisses. It is an amazing love story in my opinion. I was an emo or a scene kid back in my days, so um, it was pretty much about, you know, a goth girl falling in love with a goth guy and he turned out to be a vampire and she was like, oh, even better, like that type of thing, you know? Um, but they're in high school and it's like really, it's interesting, I loved it. I remember the author when she wrote the last book, she finished on a cliffhanger. So imagine me, 11 years old, I found the author's email and I sent her a very angry email off my dad's email because I didn't have my own and I demanded that she make another book because how could she leave it like that and consider it but let's go ahead and read a couple pages hello you this is kind of like a note from Chloe hello you Thank you so much to all the people who have supported me whilst I create this novel. I am so incredibly grateful. I would also be forever thankful if you wouldn't mind leaving me a little review on Amazon when you have finished this book. I hope you enjoy it. Lots of love. Chloe. Chapter 1 Divorced. It's official. I'm 36 years old and divorced. It says, it's gonna be okay. That's still young. Get you a man's. I study the papers in my hands over and over again and allow myself a moment to feel sadness over the words. A tear effortlessly falls down my cheek as I recall our six years of marriage. Not because I miss him, 
or even because it's over, or because I feel as though I wasted so much time. That's the worst feeling, realizing that over eight years of my life were spent with the wrong person and must make, it just makes the part of my life feel so void. I met Alex at a New Year's Eve party years ago. I was fresh out of university and a newly qualified sports journalist. I landed on my feet pretty quickly and managed to get myself a job working as a sports columnist for a popular newspaper. It was at my new job I started networking and meeting new people particularly famous athletes. Ooh, girl, they amass, don't do that. They are something else. Not all, but most. Hmm. I was starstruck each time. This lifestyle was fast-paced and more glamorous than I had ever anticipated. A lot of the athletes threw over-the-top house parties, particularly the younger footballers and rugby players. There were no, they were notorious for it. Around Christmas time, Alex messaged me out the blue on social media account. He told me how he had been reading my columns and he really enjoyed my style of writing and my passion for sports. Alex was a well-known Welsh rugby player one of the best, not only for his club, but his country. It made me nervous to see his name appear in my messages. It was surreal. I had been dreaming of this world since I was in my early teenage years. I dreamt of meeting these kinds of people and immersing myself in the world of sports. and getting next page and getting the opportunity to meet such talented and brilliant athletes but I never once dreamt it could be like this a giggle I giggle a little as I think back to his first ever message to me wow I have been reading your columns now for quite some time, and before I clocked the feminine name, I always pictured some old bloke with a gray beard and pipe who spends his weekends going to local cricket ma matches and betting on the horses. And yet, here you are, quite the opposite. Can I take you out on a date? Unless, of course, you do have a beard and a pipe. The last line of that message made me smile from ear to ear. It was from this point that our relationship started. I agreed to go on a date with Alex, and I accompanied him to a New Year's Eve party hosted by an ex-England football player. It was one of the best nights of my life. Oh. I met so many sports heroes of mine and drank the best champagne and partied with some big names. It was magical, as was Alex. I was in awe of him. He was popular, funny, and kind. He went on to have a really fun relationship. We were in love, but we were also young. Young with a lot of money. We went on holidays, skiing in the Alps, shopping in New York, sunbathing in Hawaii, and flying first class to other countries I never dreamt I would visit. Then, on my 13th birthday, 30th, not 13th, then on my 30th birthday, everything changed when Alex got down on one knee in the middle of a packed Miami beach and proposed to me. How could I say no? We seemingly had it all. It always seems like that. We were in love. We were having so much fun. I had my career, he had his, and together we were thriving. Until, that is, Alex had suffered a serious injury a few months after our wedding. 
he wasn't playing rugby when it happened, but riding his first motorbike. He bought a Harley Davidson on whim one day and thought he'd take it for a spin as soon as it was delivered. It was his dream to one day ride Route 66 on a Harley. He had no previous experience, no clue really on how to ride a bike, but he was convinced it was easy enough and so he went. Nearly 40 minutes later, I had the police at my door to tell me there had been a serious accident and Alex had crashed into the back of a truck in one of the country lanes. He was airlifted to a top London hospital and although they managed to stabilize him quickly, his injuries were so serious that he would need years, years of support and physio to correct all the damage he had done. I knew straight away that his rugby career was over. I worried deeply about how he would react to a life without playing rugby and fulfilling the goals he had been working towards for so long. But nothing could prepare me for the reality of what was to become of him. As the months turned into years, the Alex I had known and loved became virtually non-existent. The new Alex relied heavily on whiskey just to get out of bed in the morning and spend most of his days treating me as though he hated me. Every day I felt guilty. I still had my career. My columns were becoming more popular. My social life was thriving and I was still part of the glamorous life of professional athletics with all the parties and the fun that go along with it, but Alex refused to attend to anything sports related once his career came to an end. Sports became a forbidden topic in our house. I loved Alex, but nothing I did made him any happier. Nothing gave him back any of the drive and the ambition that he used to arguments got worse. He hated me for being a part of that life without him and for continuing to be a sports journalist. His drinking became heavier and it got to the point where I couldn't remember a time when I had seen him sober. I pleaded with him to put down the bottle and to fight for us, for our relationship, but Alex wasn't interested. Next page. Switch hands. Okay, you ready? The only thing he would do was lock himself away in one of the rooms. He turned into a man cave and drink himself into an abyss. I use the term man cave loosely. It was really just a room with a sofa, built in bar, and mini fridge. The last straw came one bank holiday weekend when he got so drunk that his anger grew uncontrollable. He started blaming me for everything that had gone so wrong in his life and in front of my eyes he began smashing up our home. He said he didn't deserve any of the nice things we had worked hard for and neither did I. He threw our photo frames against the wall he put a golf club through our television and our cabinets. He smashed every cup and plate in the kitchen and bellowed that I was to blame whilst he did it. Then he turned to me, his eyes filled with venom and his body language fueled by hate and raised his hand to me. He stopped himself at the last second and punched the wall next to me instead. But it was enough. Our marriage was over. I wasn't going to spend my life as the villain in Alex's story anymore. I had to get out. I secretly hoped for a little 
while that start that the start of the divorce proceedings would prompt Alex into fighting for me, for us, but nothing happened. I packed up and left Alex in our six bedroom home in London and headed for a temporary apartment near Crystal Palace. It wasn't luxury, but it was better than a life walking on eggshells with Alex. My dad used to say that football is a game made up of two 45-minute halves. Sometimes the first half of the match indicates everything you can expect from the game, but occasionally, and most excitingly, a second half can be truly unpredictable. Take the 2011 Newcastle versus Arsenal game, for example. In the first half, Arsenal managed to score four goals and looked very much as though they were going to win the game with ease. Most would have expected Arsenal to finish with eight goals to nil or something equally theatrical. And as the second half got underway, most of the Newcastle fans started leaving the stadium as their chances looked But unbelievably, Newcastle managed to score four goals, with the last goal being scored in the very last minute of the game. The stadium was electric. It was a brilliant, entertaining comeback, one which would go down in history, which is just like life, really. I wiped the tear from my eye, and I carefully tuck away the divorce papers in a plastic folder. As I close the folder, I can't help but a smile a little as I hear my dad's voice in my head. Brush yourself off, sweetheart. We have the second half to play. So, that is the intro to this book, The Suburbs. I can't wait to see who she picks at the end. I think, obviously, she's probably, hopefully, going to pick the new man that she falls in love with. We'll see. Okay? I'll see if I can contact Chloe and see if she can get me a direct link. If not, I can find it myself. And I'll link this below as well. Guess I'm doing my favorites. This is considered a favorites video. Let's go ahead and move in to some more triggers that I really enjoy. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so I am back with a large head and some more triggers. So I really hope you can just see me stepping. Just want to kind of focus a little bit on you guys. Can you focus for me? It's okay. It'll be all right. I just need you to focus, okay, sweetheart? Relax. Relax. Hello. 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 Maybe some trigger words with some hand movements and maybe a little bit of Mr. Krabs. Great, okay. I'm just gonna give myself a quick massage. Oh. My skin has been so itchy today. I have the eczema cream on because my skin was flaring. So the eczema cream is currently doing its work, but let's go ahead. So, some of my favorite trigger words, like pickle, 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 and relax, relax, focus. How's your day been? Great. I also really enjoy nail tapping. 
nail tapping. There's just something, I think, Rosalia, that's the way she likes to say her name, she likes to roll her R's. She did the ASMR with the W Magazine, I believe it is, and she said something that really resonated. She said in her ASMR interview, she said there's just something about long nails that give her this power. And I can tell you, ever since I got my nails back, I feel so much more powerful. And it's all up here, right? You just feel like you're just, you know, did the girliest thing. You know, I don't have nubs anymore. I have nails. And what about it? Like, you know, like it just feels good. It feels good to have your nails done. It just feels like a power move to have long nails. She said they almost like claws. 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 I love Rosalia. 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 She is so beautiful as well. I think. I think she just looks so beautiful. Okay. Now I'm just gonna kind of clean up the aura around you and try to my best, try my best to help you relax, you know what I'm saying? Just relax a little bit. I'm just gonna clean you up, okay? I just wanna clean you up some, that's all. I just wanna clean, clean up your auras. Have you heard a lot of negative things recently? Uh, mm. There's so many people sometimes around you that can be so negative and it sucks because sometimes you designate certain days to be your positive days, you know? And then negative Nancy comes around and everything's a problem and it puts a downer on you too even if you're not a negative person, you know? Did you guys just hear my stomach? If you did, let me know. If you're still awake, let me know. If you already left, I'm sorry, I wasn't good enough for you. Sometimes I do that too. Sometimes I leave an ASMR videos and just go to the same ASMR artist, her video, to another one of her videos, or his videos, you know? It's nothing personal. It's just sometimes my attention span isn't always there and I'll be like, okay, let me go to the next and see what I can get tingles from next, you know? But life goes on, right? I wonder what other ASMR artists think about when they do these videos or do, you know, ASMR videos. You ever think about that? Also love the sound of earrings. Love the sound of earrings. I don't know what it is. It's like the sound of metal with the, the acrylics. And um, gentle whispering. I'll mention her again because she's just amazing. Obviously, she does an amazing job. She is on top of things and she 
twitch. I actually never really do wet hand sounds because my hands are always dry. If you see me over pronouncing as I soft speak, it's so that my voice doesn't crack because a lot of times if I don't sit and try really hard to do a soft spoken voice, my voice cracks. <clears throat> like it's getting ready to crack it now. And I apologize if that's really annoying. I can understand if it's annoying. I, you know. But I want to make this as relaxing as possible. So, bear with me a little bit. I can't believe I stood. helps me sit up like I'm supposed to. A lot of times in videos, you'll see me doing this because I'm leaning forward. It's been better since I've gotten the Herman Miller chair, but this is how I usually stand, always putting my shoulders back, head up so it doesn't mess up the neck. I started having a lot of neck pain. A lot. Neck and lower back ever since I started doing YouTube, and I realized it's because of the type of chair and how I was sitting. So, I, what is, I saw this video, like, I didn't watch it, but like, you know, sometimes <clears throat> when you hover, when you hover over someone's ASMR video or any video on YouTube, it does like a preview, and she like, she had her hands like, she was like this, and it was mesmerizing. I didn't click, but I think she still got a view from me sitting there looking at it like, her hands really doing something to me right now. Like, I feel like I might just, you know, like, I'm alive, but I'm dead, you know what I'm saying? It was great. So I kind of want to, you know, I want to try that, but like, I don't, I'm not talented like that. She was like. This is very hypnotic to me. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. You just gotta roll with it, okay? I'm just gonna turn you, turn you, turn. I'm gonna turn, 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 turn you. Just wanna turn you a little bit. Click, 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 click. Turn you a little bit. Click, 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 click. Turn you a little bit. Turn you a little bit. Click, 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 click. I'm gonna press your buttons. Press, press. How about I tap your buttons instead? Tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. I love tapping our buttons. Now, how would you feel if I brushed away whatever is on your face? Brush, 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 My skin is drying out, so it's peeling right here, so it makes me scratch it. It's not 
meant for this for some reason. Isn't that weird? Let's book a camp with the way it sounded. I love the way tapping on books sound. I can't help it. You know why I think I like it so much? When I was younger and the teachers used to read, they would tap on the books before they read it and that would always put me to sleep because it'd be the end of the day, you know, in kindergarten and you would get the little nap mats out and they'll make you like take a 10 or 15 minute nap or something and they would always read a story to put us to sleep so that's something that they always did my kindergarten teacher, what was her name? I believe her name was Miss Williamson or Williams something with a W Will in it. Um, she was amazing. She was nice. We used to be able to take um, this little stuffed pig. It was our fake, you know, class pet. It was a stuffed pig and it had like a care pack and it had its little blankets and stuff and the person who was like chosen to take the piggy home so whoever was most active in class and the most behaved was able to take the piggy home so I remember um, my best friend at the time she really wasn't my best friend, you know I was the first person to be able to take the pig home and she was so angry at me. She was like, we can't be friends. And I was like, sis, at the time, you know, you're young. You're like, well, you can take the pig home. I literally told her, I was like, you can take the pig home. Then my teacher stepped in and was like, no. She said, yes, stop. I haven't talked to her since then, actually. She actually, like, I think she moved schools. So, I hope she's doing well. You know, maybe she has a real pig. I don't know. But this is really soft. It's a really soft book. I enjoy it with. This is the Perga case that I showcased a couple videos ago. I guess I'll add this in the description too. Um, um, I actually do really love the case and the sound that it makes is so delicious. In fact, it even sounds better. I'm gonna try to take it off. I'm sorry. I'll take the case off real quick off my phone. Um, it sounds so good. The inside of the case. Let's, let me show you. Let me clip it back on. The inside of the case is ripped and I did this on Twitch. So my Twitch people, I've already seen this, okay? That. Delicious. Absolutely stunning. I cannot believe that this was a hidden gem. Such a hidden gem. Absolutely. 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 Tinglerific. 
That's a new adjective. It's a new verb. Tingle with it. Tingle with it. Adjective. You can be tingled, but this is tingle rific. I really enjoyed making this video and I had to stop three different times so technically there's not a lot of edits in this video I did everything off the dome and if I, made it, if I messed up, I messed up, you know but um the camera that I film with can only film for a certain amount of time so it cuts off and then I have to cut it back on so if you guys see any cuts that's usually what it is so kudos. I think this one's an hour long. Um, but thank you so much for listening. I know I rambled a lot and I talked a lot and it's not a whisper video, but, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check me out on all my other, you know, outlets. I'm now live streaming ASMR very frequently. Now that I moved out, I have more space to do so and more time. So I will be live streaming on my Twitch. I know there's some of you guys who are already there. If you're not, I'm linking everything in the description box below. You know, my Twitch, Instagram, Patreon, everything like that. So Twitch, I do currently three or more live streams, live streams ASMR live streams. Then I also do some Apex gaming live streams on Twitch as well. But right now, what we're doing is ASMR. The Apex live stream will be back once we do a couple new modifications to the screen. Um, hopefully in time for Valkyrie because Valkyrie is coming. Winter is coming. Valkyrie is coming and we're really excited for that. I know I'll be streaming that day um, But Tuesdays Thursdays and Sunday nights I stream on Twitch Patreon you get five to six ten minute ASMR videos along with three to six three to six personal images of me that I do not post on social medias and you know it's kind of just one of those things where I just post things I wouldn't really post anywhere else and we can sit and chat about it. George um, is probably going to go ahead and be the first one to comment on this video, but George is um, one of our top commenters on Patreon. You guys probably see him a lot in the comments. He's like the first comment other than KJ. And then, of course, Instagram. You know, I post personal things on Instagram. You don't really have to check it out if you don't want to. That's fine. If sometimes I'm just not everybody's cup of tea, and that's fine. Maybe I'll be someone's coffee. So, yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Don't forget to like. Maybe put some notification bells in on it. Do what you want to do. I love you guys. Goodbye.